Hey everybody, welcome to this seventh video in the series on how to use Pixel or E. This video is going to focus on how to use the wand select tool. And it's going to build on what we talked about in the last two videos about the lasso and the marquee selection tools. The wand uh, is very similar, except it uses a little bit to detect where you want to select. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to start by creating a new canvas, just like before, web medium, create. And now I have a blank canvas, and I'm going to add in an image layer here. I have the same Apple image that I've been using in the last two videos, and I'm going to just use that same one. Let's make it a little bigger so that we can see what we're selecting here. And now let's look at the wand select tool. This is pretty cool. Um, let me keep my layer, my image layer active. So I'm going to go here and select the wand select tool. And you can see up here, again, uh, a lot of the same tools that were available with the lasso select and the marquee select. For example, to add to your selection or take away from your selection. Um, tolerance is a new thing, and we're going to talk about what that means in a second. But feather, um, anti-alias, we'll talk about what contiguous means, again, uh, because that's unique to this wand tool. Um, but this is a really useful thing if you want to remove the background from something. A lot of times when you get an image from the web, the image is like, let's say I wanted to put a picture of an apple into a, uh, another background. Like maybe I wanted to have a person holding an apple in their hand. And I find this picture of an apple online, but it's got all this white around it. And so when I put it into my other picture, it doesn't look very realistic because the person's holding this white box with an apple in it. I want just the apple. So I want to get rid of the rest of this uh, white that's around the apple. So my magic wand tool can make that really, really easy. I'm going to click on the wand tool, and I'm just going to uh, set the tolerance for right now to 32 and see what happens. And I'm going to click anywhere in the white. And when I did that, you can see now I've got my dancing ants going all around the outside of the apple. Um, and what it does is it's going to select basically all of the areas that have the same value as the place I just clicked. So basically anywhere where it's white, it's selected. And now if I hit backspace, it got rid of the white area. Now there was a little bit of a problem here because there was a little bit of a light glare on the apple right up in here. And it thought that that was part of the background. So it selected that as well. And that might not look super nice when I put this into my other picture. So let me just go back here and fit this back. I'm going to deselect. Um, and let me undo my um, undo this. So I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to change the tolerance. The tolerance is telling how close to the area that you click it's going to be. So I'm just going to turn the tolerance down a little bit. And it, that just means the lower the tolerance, the more picky it's going to be. The closer to the area where I click, it's going to have to be in order to select it. Let me go down to 10 and just see what happens here if I click there. Now, you'll see that it didn't include this little white area on the apple. It was a little more picky, and it's like, I'm just going to select the pure white areas. And now I can hit delete. And now that looks pretty good. Let's just talk really quickly, too, about contiguous. So I'm going to come, I'm going to undo here, Control-Z, and deselect. And so contiguous means um, if it's connected or not. So um, right now, if I click on, let me bring my tolerance back up a little bit here too. I think it was at about 32. Okay. And I'm going to click here in the white part. And you're going to notice that it, it selected all of the white area out here and a little bit of the white going into the apple. But you'll notice it didn't select this white glare because it wasn't touching uh, the white that's out here. There's red in between all the way around. Um, if you click on contiguous, it means it's only going to select the white areas that are touching the white area that you selected, or whatever the color is of what you selected. But if I turn off contiguous, now if I click here, it's going to select all across the whole picture, whether it's touching or not, that shares that same color value. So if I click on here now, you'll see it selected all this area, but now it's picking up some of the white in here, and it also selected that. So sometimes um, turning contiguous off is helpful because you want to get rid of all of that color. But sometimes turning um, contiguous 
uh, off is annoying because then it's picking up stuff on the inside of your picture and you don't want that to be gone. So um, if you're, you know, trying to remove a background, just try it with both of those. You can try um, multiple options with the tolerance, with turning contiguous on or off until you get just the exact selection that you want. But the magic wand makes that really nice and easy. So again, I'd encourage you just to bring an image in and mess around with it and see if you can remove a background from a picture like this.